Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Ormi and we're here today playing more Starters Order 7. We're here with our video ready to go. Let's have a look at things and where we currently stand. A um, couple of good races in already, not too bad. And I feel that we're in a pretty good place moving forward. Let's take a look at some of the races we got coming up. We're going to start with Vincentian in the Preakness. Now, uh, it's it's a race I pencil, penciled in for Vincentian for a while. And then the Woodford came out. And I'm really... I'm really unsure now. On whether or not this is the right way to go. Uh, Fader, we got the thousand guineas, and hopefully there's a better performance here. We're really limited, if I'm honest, on like fillies at a mile right now. When you got two fillies, one's a mile two, the other's a mile, or maybe seven furlongs. So I don't know what Fader is gonna do. Um, yeah. It's going to be interesting. Stafford Charlie in the 2,000 guineas. I'm hoping it's a good race. I'm hoping that's a good race there. Then Melting Pot takes the Shoemaker. I almost put Melting Pot in the 2,000 to get another Triple Crown race. But again, if we're spreading, we're spreading. That's just the way it is. I've got the Diane for Zagrala. And then the Queen's Plate coming up as well. And we'll see what two-year-old races come up as well. But this is basically the, the meat of the racing schedule. Is sort of May through September. Where a lot of those three-year-old races will be filmed. And where a lot of those big triple crown races and important races will be too. There's early meetings, there's end-of-season meetings. But it's all about this middle part of the season that we're coming into. Uh, breeding, gone really well. You got Spartan Soul with Dreamers there right now. Marshall Prophet still waiting to be bred with. <clears throat> so, yeah. We're about to find out exactly how good a couple of our horses are. Like I say, the first one up is Vincentian. Well, unfortunately, it looks like is a little lazy right now. Smiling applause, sweating badly. Hysteria Lane and Weissenblut looks a little agitated, as does Maidford. Um, going home is favourite and is tipped. And I can see why. I, I, I can, but I think we should be rated higher. We do have a higher actual handicap winning rating. We do have a little bit better form. Neither is amazing, but ours is better. Um, neither is bad, but ours is better. So, okay. Okay. We've tried a mile one, and it hasn't quite worked there for us. So we'll add on the extra half a furlong. See, in the Preakness Sticks. Can Vincentian come up big? We're off to a decent start. We're in behind Witch's Hat and Always Dixie. Going home alongside us on the outside. Then back to Maidford who leads out the rest of the field. Which does include Wisteria Lane, Weizenblut and Skint. Big talk. We know those horses. We know they can run. We're in around the turn on the outside of Going Home. And we are, in fact, possibly going home early here. We're inside the final two, down to one and a half. Witch's hat on the inside. Here comes going home. What a drive from them. It'll be three abreast here by the final furlong marker. Dolly cough drop from deep. But inside the final furlong, Vincentian kicks out and pushes with a length in the lead. Going home, Witch's hat, second and third. Dolly cough drop coming up there. Just outside the top four with a good late run. Maidford in fifth. Not bad at all. I feel that was a good race. 
I feel that was a really good race. Oh, wow. Yeah, going home is a good ru good runner. Very, very good runner. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So, Maidford actually picks up fourth and fifth. Going home with second places. Not going to go for the Belmont. But we win. We win well. We ran okay. And in a competitive field. That brings up questions over... For me, why... On a good track, which that was a good track. And the ground suiting us perfectly. Trip suiting perfectly. Why we didn't run well here. Okay, questions. Big questions, but... Maybe just one of those races. Maybe just wasn't our day. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. Okay. New market for the 2,000 guineas and the 1,000 guineas. Umph is Australian. A British field ungraded, really. Unknown. Most of them not raced in a long time i expect them not to be the fittest and we will be parading the best we will be the only horse tipped we will be the favorite with the form horse with the best horse we are the top rated horse so i think this lines up well i do think this lines up well stafford charlie has a very good chance at coming through this and winning the 2000 guineas at newmarket but you've got to run it to find out. Here we go. <laughs> We're off. Go. Finally able to change the camera. Bit of a slow start from us. We're going to stick to this back group. We've got, what's this, number six. King in waiting on the outside. Then Purple Fair, Persian Peril. The two greys in bluish silks. Behind Umph, the Australian. We're coming up now with Mannard. Wow. Okay. Quite a few horses made a move and we didn't. Uh, this worries me. Down to two furlong. Stafford Charlie is kind of dead in the water here. It would take an almighty finish that we haven't seen from him yet. And we're not going to see, I don't think, today. Final half a furlong. My problem is Field of Dream is just edging us out. Point two, point one. Are we just getting up? Dusky Bob. Held on the inside. Field of Dream down the outside. And Stafford Charlie. That poor start. I I would say that poor start really did cost us the race. Wow. I was fairly confident, a little confident, let's say. Okay. Um, I guess that's... Didn't have the pace run. Is it just turf? Is it just turf? Are we having trouble on the turf? Uh, the Irish Winnipeg and the Canadian Water Breeze are in the Thousand Guineas. Let's see if Fader can run. I want to see Fader run well. Actually run well, put up a you know a good performance, come close and try and get something kind of going here. Doesn't have to win, doesn't have to be impressive, just needs to show up. Basically. Just needs to show up. Uh we're ahead of the, the, the back three. We got uh Winnipeg on our outside. Victoria Mill up ahead with Brown Trout on our outside now. Very close to stop Rover Etate, I guess. 
I'm not sure how to say that name at all. Down to one and a half. We're in decent position. But we need to have a, a great final furlong to actually... Like, for me to feel happier with Fader. Okay, Brown Trout falls away. We're not catching Winnipeg, though. That's a decent run, you know. Ah, I said I, I wanted her further up the front. But... I guess that's decent. Okay, we don't take the 2,000 or the 1,000. Ha. Huh. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why. I really. I'm really kind of confused here. Over. How bad in places we're running. And we shouldn't. The only thing I can think of is grass. The only thing I can think of is grass. So. Um, like, Vincentian had a bad run on grass. So, more likely to be dirt, dirt. The Growler's okay. That's the answer, okay. Carabgal. So, maybe a couple of the two-year-olds are okay. And then maybe Zagrala is a turf horse as well. I wouldn't expect it to make that much distance difference, but I can see how we could. See how we could. Now, this isn't really something we normally like, need to pay attention to. In other schedules, because America's dirt, and you don't really spend too much time on turf, so you know it's it's kind of now and again it might show up. But here, oh boy, oh boy, I don't know. I really don't know. Let's see what we can. Um, we can see over the next one. Every time we're on dirt, we'll compare those races by the same horses as their turf performances. The here I think was distance. And we get up and we win. And then we miss the break. A mile as well. We needed a mile one. What am I doing? Why? Oh my god. I can't believe I, I even did that. So we missed the break and that. Plus we're on turf. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense now. That that race makes sense. And this one could just be a turf issue. If turf is like two lengths. Even though everything was perfect, yeah, that that would make sense. We won on turf. But maybe that's a bad field. And we've got so many foreign races and turf races. Beta ran on, but... Hmm. I'm sure Melting Pot didn't like turf. And Melting Pot's winning. Is that just Melting Pot being super high quality, perhaps? But two lengths back there, which could put us in contention. We win that. 
and we could have won that by big. We won that by big missing the break on turf, despite not liking to run on turf. Maybe Melting Pot is just that good of a horse. I mean, it kind of looks that way. And 100% speed as well. We'll see how, how they do on dirt. If they win big on dirt, then I guess running on turf might make a big, big impact. And maybe I'll, I'll really need to pay far greater attention. This is a learning curve for me as well. So apologies if I seem a little bit out of it right now. I'm, I'm, there's a lot going through my mind I'm trying to figure out as we go. And uh, the new recording software, I can't pause in the middle of recording. I've got to stop the recording and start it back up. So, yeah, we need to uh, we need to figure that problem out as well. I really want a good, free, simple to use, but has some good tools that I'm used to using for my videos in a video recorder slash editor, all in one program. And I'm yet to find one, and I'm not going to pay the big money for the upgraded version of the old one I had on the old PC because ain't got that kind of money. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I'm having to do all my thinking on screen. So this isn't new for me, but it would be new for you, perhaps, seeing this. Um, okay. It's, um... Let's run it and see. Let's run it and see. So we're expecting... We're expecting perhaps a big win. We're expecting a big win. If our thinking is right. We look to be in good shape. We look to be the favourite anyway. It's a decent field, but nobody amazing right now. So let's see. Is our theory correct and are we going to win this by a big margin? I guess the start will also play into it, but it looks like we got a good start on the outside. Now, if we're not blocked off, if, if nothing bad happens in this race, we should win. And if we win very well, perhaps that does point to dirt versus turf. Equity card leads us up. We've got a group of uh, horses with us and just behind us the rest of the field. Completing a fair force group now because and D Day Bay. Everybody coming up into the last furlong. We're not clear. We're in fourth place. We're starting to make a move, but Equity Card is so far out front. Vessa's injured and gone at the back. Equity Card is failing. We come through. It's about a length. And that doesn't help. It's a quarter of a length. Actually, but it's like only a length back to third. Ah. So is it dirt and turf? Because this horse doesn't like turf, but one by six on turf. And now we can't even get half a length on dirt. And not in an amazing field. A decent field, but not an amazing field. More questions than answers. More questions than answers. We'll keep thinking about it and figuring out where we can go with that. Get our final horse, Bread. And let's go back to a horse we know can should and hopefully will win the prix de dion longin chantilly first and only race i think we've got on the chantilly race course in france everything else i believe is in longchamp um highest rated best horse top horse uh even's favorite by far, tip pretty well, ready to go, looking a little lean. Weizen Brutes back, again, looks in a little uh, agitated. Ladybug Blaze across with us as well. And then some unraced and 
are poorly performing in its only race, domestic horses. One mile, two furlongs, 110 yards. The Prix de Dion Longines at Chantilly Racecourse. Class 1, Grade 1 for 3-year-olds upon the turf. Eiffel Tower in the background. And we're off up and running here on the course. We're up in the second behind Pondicherry, the only French horse to have run so far. Bison Blute on the inside, Shim Sham outside it, then out to Ladywell Blaze. At the back, she's a character in Code of Ethics, two of the three unraced French horses. We all seem to be holding position. We're going round the outside here, setting up for the turn. Four furlongs from home. Bison Blute now getting clear with Ladywell Blaze. The Americans are second, third, and fourth, chasing down Pondicherry. The unraced French horses are. Some distance in the rear. Two furlongs from home now. We're about a, a length and a half to two lengths back on Pondicherry. We look to be biding our time. Down now then to the final furlong. Here comes Weisenblut. Here comes Ladywell Blaze. And here goes Zagrala. As the crowd look on. Zagrala goes clear half a furlong from home. About two length lead. Maybe a little more on Weisenblut. Back to Ladywell Blaze. The so one, two, three for the Americans. But it's a big, big win there for Zigrala. Yeah, she runs well. She runs well on all distances, all kinds of turf, dirt surfaces, does not matter. Uh, two of them ran green, 24 and 33 lengths behind. Ouch. Yeah, that's why you run maidens. That's 100% why you run maidens. Code of Ethics as well, that was their maiden race, 12 lengths back. Pondicherry, 9. Ladywell Blaze finished 3.5. Vizen Blue, 2 and a quarter. A very nice run, though. That is a very, very nice run. I'll take that, you know. I will take that. Um, yeah, lots of questions, not so many answers. But uh, I'm going to go away and think on that and try and figure out a little bit more about why. Read up around it, see if there's any information out there that I, maybe we can take and use to our advantage. But there may be a surface issue that we need to figure out. And uh, yeah, I'm not convinced due to those last few races. I'm not entirely con confident that because Melting Pot, as I say... Likely be suited to a dirt surface. It didn't win as well on dirt as it has on turf. And has won two huge races on turf. So. And not even with a full surface adaptability. So. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Comment section down below. While you're there, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Check the description for a link to the Discord as well as the Patreon. And I will see you back here next time for more fun and games. Hopefully more answers than questions. And a few more big wins. We're going to try and find something there for Melting Pot, some two-year-old races. And then get back with these guys. Start with Fader. I'm hoping she starts winning races. Ah, oh, been a difficult season, but... We persevere, and I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Stay safe.